On the floor of the Rutgers Athletic Center, Shawnee Pleasants of Teaneck and Rashida Charles of Boston hope to score big as the Rutgers students write the programming commands for the web application they created called Study Buddy. Add your name, classes, where and when you're studying, and click the Study Buddy button. It's like a social media site for studying, so it's useful, it's a resource. Colleges can use it, things like that, and it helps bring people together. I think for the more difficult classes, like science classes, it's better to have a study group, but sometimes being a class of 400 people, it's hard to meet people to study with. That's just some of the creativity you find at this 24-hour hackathon. These hackers are not the kind who breach firewalls and confidentiality. Instead, these hackers gather what looks like a junk food convention with slacker lookalikes in their PJs and chomping on PB&J sandwiches. Their mission, collaborating to create next level technologies. The way I like to describe it is it's a real time invention competition, right? So these students show up on a Friday or a Saturday in this case, they come up with the craziest invention they can imagine, and then they spend 24 hours bringing that invention to life, and then they're gonna demo it science fair style. A few years ago, Mike Swift was a Rutgers law major. He had a campus computer programming job to pay bills. A friend invited him to a hackathon. I remember walking into this room and there were a hundred other students who were just like me. Uh, they loved the internet, they loved software, they loved building things, they were willing to give up their weekend of partying and going out on college campus to go to a hackathon and spend their weekend building things and they were um, I, I saw them and I felt like I was at home. Two years ago Swift co-founded Major League Hacking and now supports 150 hackathons a year reaching 50,000 hackers. This is Rutgers University's eighth hackathon. These students come from up and down the East Coast and they've come here to create all sorts of things. Some things are fun, some educational. Typically at these hackathons though they create things that are very surprising. These kids made a really simple way to uh, multitask on, on the iPhone, which is something you can't do right now. These events attract big name household sponsors, giving away software and more, but also recruiting. I think what we look for even when we're recruiting students is their passion because, you know, your passion kind of like leads the way and tells you what you want to do for the future. Hackathoners make up an eclectic group. Some aren't even CS or computer science majors or pursuing a career in it. I actually want to go into healthcare. I want to train sea otters when I graduate. I'm graduating in May. Jade Yi and Michelle Chen organized what looks like a male-dominated hackathon, a fact not lost on Michelle. I think the most important step in creating diversity is first creating the space in which that diversity can grow. Um, that's definitely one of the things that we strive to do. After 24 hours of hacking, the top invention is Lightcast, an app to help low-speed internet have a decent video chat experience. First place gets the team $1,000, Dell tablets, and $200 in software credit, and no doubt, attention from the multi-billion dollar tech industry. Michael Hill, NJTV News.